Welcome back to Shams Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss expression number four, and we're also going to discuss the master number of 22. So expression number four just gives you the natural characteristics of the four, because that's what your expression number is, according to the um, Pythagorean theory. So if your first, middle, and last name at birth add up to anything that um, constitutes a four, like 13, uh, 22... 31, 40, whatever, then you're obviously going to have a 4. Uh, we also have to discuss the karmic debt number of 13 in this as well. Uh, so this is going to be quite a video. So number 4 to start off with is controlled by Rahu or Uranus, however you want to put it. Um, so we've discussed Rahu already. It's a demon head, the snake head. Um, Uranus, we already know, is a very odd planet. Um, it is not really talked about, just like the 4. Um, the 4 is somebody who's considered like the cog in the machine, a company. But they're the most stable thing. They're the bedrock of a company. Um, they bring stability to our world. They're the four corners of the earth. When you think about four in relations to symbolism, uh, the four is always generally related to earth-like matters. Um, so that's why it's a very um, masterful type of number. It can teach you a lot about yourself in the physical realm. Um, the whole concept of the four is about overcoming the illusion of being restricted. So when you're in expression number four, you may have a natural tendency to feel restricted, uh, to feel like things need to be organized and structured in a certain way. And that's very advantageous to you because you're gonna think in a way where you're saying, this needs to be this way, that needs to be that way. I get it, like it makes sense. Um, you guys have the capability of making a lot of money. Um, you guys are good at business. You guys are good working for a company. And you guys are very, very beneficial to any family unit that you're within, whether that be if you're a husband or wife or if you're a child or a relative, cousin, whatever. You guys are amazing when it comes to being reliable and you guys are considered probably the most dependable number in all of numerology. Um, when it comes to manifestation, I think you guys understate your skills a lot. Um, for number fours, I'd recommend anything from accounting to human resources. Uh, reason I say those things is because you guys are the organization geniuses. You guys are able to look at something and figure out how to uh, redisperse it, redisperse the information and really organize things in a meticulous way that I don't think any other number can and they won't be able to, not even the eights. The eights may be a double of you guys, but the eight thinks more broad and can't uh, think as minuscule as you guys, the smallest details, those little things. So you guys are very detail-oriented people. If you have an expression number that just simply adds to four, it's not a karmic or a master number, um, it, it can be very beneficial. Uh, what you want to focus on to master your life path if you have an expression number of four is primarily this. Be committed to your goals and don't expect or don't accept, excuse me, the restriction that you think you have, those limitations in your mind. So if you're working for a company and you want to be the CEO, a four will naturally say, nah, I can't do that, or it'll take like 20 odd years. It's not true. If you actually can put your mind to it and really um, look at it from your small scale thinking, but also bring it to a bigger scale thinking, look at it from a hawk view, from over the landscape, look at the whole terrain you're in you realize how much of a benefit you are to the people around you and to maybe the company that you work for. And then you're able to actually translate that into making your value even higher because you start to realize that people probably need you more than you need them. And that's a lot of the times the truth and you don't even realize it. Um, moving on to the karmic number of 13. If you have karmic number 13 as an expression number, you will have the traits of the four as well. We also have the selfishness of the one, creativity of the three. So this makes you a bit of a more creative four um, where you might uh, venture into like the music, arts, maybe sports in comparison to the regular four that's more so into like hard calculations like science and business. So like with 13, um, it's a karmic debt. So you're gonna have to worry a lot about commitment. So you may have the creativity and the confidence, but the commitment might be a huge problem for you. Um, not even might, it will be. If you have this as a karmic debt and you don't have a problem with commitment, you already mastered the karmic debt because the whole point of the 13 is committing to things and sticking with them and staying on discipline, which is funny because the four is the master of being disciplined. Um, but when it's a karmic debt, it makes it a little bit harder. So you have to just focus your energy on making sure you complete the task at hand. What the 13 will do is it's not that your work ethic is bad. It's going to throw a lot of curveballs in your way, meaning like it's going to make you feel like everything that you're doing is futile which is not true. It's gonna make you feel that, oh, as soon as I try something, it just doesn't work out or something random happens. The whole part to a karmic debt is that you have to actually um, look at it from a view of, I owe a debt in this lifetime and I have to pay it off. And in order to pay it off, I have to do the correct thought, words, and deeds to uh, better my karma. Okay, it's a karmic debt. Your karma is based on your thoughts, words, and deeds. Um, so if you can visualize a better future and then become that future in the present, you're gonna be able to commit to that said future 
and in turn change the karmic debt that you have. So that's the whole point uh, to the karmic debt. I think if, if you really commit to your goals, have a higher purpose and control your thoughts, you're going to be fine. A lot easier said than done. I have a 14 as a karmic debt, so it's a little different story, but it's pretty much the same across the karmic debt numbers. You have to figure out what's going on inside so that you can change what's happening outside. Um, the last number that I want to go through, though, is the master number of 22. So 22 is two twos, which is adds to four. Um, if it's an expression number, it's going to affect you on a day-to-day -day basis in comparison to a life path number. That's just a general theme. So when a 22 is on your day-to-day -day basis, that means you're going to have a lot of grand schemes in your head, a lot of uh, idealizations, um, a need to teach others the way in which you think, and probably like a bigger-than-normal um, ego. And that ego can be very destructive or very creative, very innovative. And it depends on how you're thinking. It depends on where your spiritual journey is at. So what I mean by that is this, like if you're a 22 and you're thinking along the lines of, um, I have huge dreams, but I don't know how to get them. You need to remain having those huge dreams and then wait for the universe to give you the answers. You guys are the master of manifestation. You guys have the most powerful number, especially if it's an expression number, you're going to be able to express this in a huge way. Um, the only thing is that it may be a little more challenging. I discussed in the three video yesterday that it's one of the easiest expression numbers to have. Well, this is one of the hardest expression numbers to have. Um, reason being is because your subconscious mind is so, so powerful. All of our subconscious minds are powerful, but yours has a very, very um, intimate connection with our conscious reality. Um, what you think deep down is really going to translate itself in your environment very quickly and um, very... Uh, I'd say astonishingly, like it's just going to pop out at you. So you, what you want to do is watch out for that. Make sure that you're on the right side of polarity, thinking of things in not an analytical way, but accepting things for as they are. The two is double feminine energy, double yin. You want to accept. You don't want to just be judging and analyzing everything the way the four does. The four is used to judging, analyzing, and coming up with scientific reasons as to why things occur, such as karma, cause and effect. The 22 kind of rises above the universal laws. What it does is it goes to the next level above our senses. And it brings us to a point where we know how to teach people intuitively instead of teaching people analytically and objectively. We're teaching people in a subjective way, in a way in which they feel what you're saying, not just know what you're saying. Um, so the 22 is considered like the master teacher. People that are affected by this number tend to make a very big, big grand scale um, sort of difference within our society. And if you have this as an expression number, in order to master your life path, you're going to have to do something along those lines, meaning you're going to have to do something such as maybe create a school for kids. Maybe it will be writing an extremely good novel that's going to go down into generations. Uh, maybe it could be some sort of political or scientific reform that changes our whole belief system as a society. These are the things that 22 has done in the past, and it's going to keep happening until now. Um, it's a very high octave number, high frequency, high vibration. So if you have this as an expression number, what you want to do is first master the number four as your expression number and then move on to your imagination. But that's going to be within the 22. During the process, I recommend trying to meditate and stay mindful and avoid judging things too much because the four is the weakness in the 22. The four is going to make you think a little bit too on the negative spectrum where you want to be neutral. You don't even want to be positive. You want to be neutral. You want to avoid analyzing situations and actually look at them for what they are and see what needs to be done. When you're able to think from that perspective, you're then going to get things done quite quickly. You're then going to be in what you would call God mode, where you're able to just see what needs to be created and create in the present moment. You're not going to wait till tomorrow or the next five minutes. So this is going to get you out of the whole habitual thinking of the regular um, numerological number series of one to nine and bring it to the master level where you're able to be sort of 10 steps ahead of the regular civilization and you're able to leave that legacy that you're destined to make. The expression number is also called the destiny number in Western numerology. So your name is going to constitute what you're destined to be and how you're destined to be it. So if you're on the 22 path, you're on the 22 expression, you have to understand that this is a very high expression and it demands a lot of you. It demands your full mental fortitude and your full commitment. All right, so that would finish off the expression number four series for expression number four, 13 and 22. Um, if you guys do have any questions regarding any th of those three numbers in particular, just leave it in the comments for me. Aside from that, please like, subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Holla at me.